talking about this. Let's go over it again. The last time you went to see Barbara Jim for a haircut, what exactly did you say to him? I said fluffy on top, a little off the sides, and don't touch the back. Why? Okay. Face the music, Billy Ray Cyrus. You have a mullet. I do not have a mullet. It, it's just a different cut for me, okay? You've got to cut it, baby. The 80s revival is over. Look, I don't know why you're picking on my do. But I'm not going to cut it because for the last time, I do not have a damn mullet. It's Thank you for interrupting your lunch to see us, Calamity. How can I help you today? It's about April. We need to tell you what we did to her. Oh, wait. Hold it. Okay. Shoot. Why are you angry? I am angry because I... We... Wouldn't let her join us for Love Plus One. It started a month ago. April's bizarre love for us. One day, out of the blue, she plopped down and said, Greetings, Josh Ford, Lily E. I was wondering if you'd like to form a menage. April, I'm getting a C in Spanish. No welcome friend day. April, do you even know what that word means? That's inappropriate. Jeez, does she use five-syllable words like that in bed? Bring it! We just got up and left. Josh. She followed like a stray looking for a handout. Looking back, she was lonely. <sighs> Obviously, she was one of those people who didn't know how to communicate. I should have dug deeper with her. Saw the loneliness instead of using her weirdness as an excuse to flake. I, I want to turn our grief into something constructive. I propose leaving donation cans in the cafeteria so that people like us who ignored her can contribute to the newly formed April Tuna Scholarship Fund. Lily, I think you're taking this thing way too far. Really? Why is that, Billy Ray? People like April are just freakouts, and you can't protect them from the real world. But April dying says to me we should at least try, Josh. You are a better person than this, Josh. Maybe your mullet has drained your intelligence. It is, after all, the hairstyle of the Cro-Magnon man. Hey. Lay off the mullet. <sighs> what do you think, Miss Jones? <laughs> uh, Lily, we need to talk. Oh, hi, Rick James. Did you come to demonstrate some more sexist mullet behavior like, oh, I don't know, slapping me upside the head with a skillet? Or did you... Oh, baby, you cut your mullet. Yeah. Well, there comes a time in every man's life when he has to choose between his hair and his woman. And when it came down to my white man's jerry curl or you, I chose you, Lily. Oh, Josh, you look so... Cute again? Mm hmm Yeah, I know. <laughs> also, Lily... I was wrong in therapy. You know, you were right. I think people in the positions of power have an obligation to protect people whose society mistreats, you know, like Emery and April. And that's why me and the Mullet Club, of, now which I'm an emeritus member, well, we raised $500 for the Tuna Scholarship Foundation. Josh, that's amazing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Wait. The Mullets didn't get this money through strong-arm hooligan mullet tactics, did they? No, I don't think so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Easy wash the hair, baby. <laughs> Great timing, Lily. What? Well, Josh and the mullets have raised over $500 to start the April 20th scholarship.